Hello, 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 and we are back in Vault Hunters. Uh, we have some little bits to do, but I went around in the break. You can kind of see it on the map already, and I planted many. Uh, I think there, there, and here. Uh, just because I was like, eh, we'll, we'll plant more. Christ. That was, uh, <laughs> that was better than expected. Uh, we need to be careful with this, apparently. But, um, okay, uh, we, that's what we need for now. Let's just, let's just put this back. Um, I'm not going to harvest it all. I'm thinking, though, we should make some automated farms for things like melons, pumpkins, and stuff. Stuff that's easy just to kind of throw like that. Uh, throw like that, sorry. Um, stuff that's easy that you can piston and break and be good. But I thought we'll jump straight into a vault at the start of this episode, um, and then we will maybe do those farms afterwards. Make it a bit, bit of a change rather than doing the... What are we... What are our quests? Um, <clears throat> ten knowledge, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I thought do this first, come back and do the farms afterwards maybe. Uh, I did move the boys in, they're already being loud and annoying, so let's leave them behind. I think I've got everything. I didn't actually check. Uh, looks to be good. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's another elixir vault. So I'd like to finish this one, because we didn't finish the last one. Ooh, and amethyst though, right? I don't know how well the small buds help us. Um, we actually do have a geode. I found one. There's something I will show you after, um, after this. Oh, is this the, this is like the legendary room that we stumbled in a long time ago, actually. Ooh, lots of carbon, which is what we need, isn't it? Yes, we might have to loot this room for everything it's worth. Cookie jar. Give, did I get? Oh, I can't run jump for some reason. Give, there we go, I think we got. Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to have to spend some time looting this room. Seven cookies in that jar. How adorable. Yeah, I thought we missed something here. Oh, we did miss a fair few things. Um, let's make sure that we're, we're whizzing through this. So we do need a lot of carbon, remember, to be able to make the... Um, the whatchamacallit. Oh, well, this actually doesn't look to be the biggest room after all. This was our way out, right? Yeah, this is our way out. Uh, maybe it's just this little void area. That's crazy. Maybe it's just this. Maybe there's uh, there's not much to it. It's just a cross point. Oh no, there is a, there is a definite upstairs. Um, cool. Let's see if we can parkour our way up here, like I presume it's expecting us to. We can't. We're, we're a fool. And we fell immediately. There we go. Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry, my my voice is just gone today. Um, poor time to record, probably, but <laughs> you know me, I'm dedicated to the max. Um, okay, so we've done that, 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 so it's just this one. Which goes up, actually. Let's have a quick look up here. Oh, this is cute. I'm sure that's what they were going for. Cute. Um, we need all of this carbon. Oh my god, it goes higher. Keep on climbing. Nothing up here. Okay. Um, how did we get... Yeah, we, we came from up here... Uh, oh, we didn't even open this one, to be fair. We don't look to be getting that much elixir from opening chests, though. If I'm if I'm honest, if I'm looking at it, it looks pretty poor for us, chest-wise. Um, oh, netherite, though. Just a single brick is still very good for us. Um, so we're going to go and leave this place. We might go down, though, because there is a down, and I'd like to explore it real quick. Uh, do that. Ooh, it goes further down. Okay, we gotta we gotta speed run this a little bit. Oh, cool foods. 
I will always take crates of foods. Lots of iron as well, which is something we're lacking quite a lot of actually. So I will happily take iron. Uh, let's try and just blitz through this as much as possible. Uh, oh, another room full of stuff. Another bit of, oh, lovely. We're, we're actually, do you know what? This is quite, oh, I do want bookcases um, for my enchanting setup. I'd like to have a little bit more of a beautified one. Uh, and a lectern, we'll take that. And wheat, we will definitely take. And I think that is this room donezo. Uh, let's put down our first crate then. Chuck everything in here. Uh, cool. And then move. What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a lantern for the lower decks. Let's have a quick look down there. We've already spent five minutes, which is not great. Oh my god, it goes lower. Oh god. Oh, is that just a regular piston? I don't know. We're going to need pistons though if we want to do those automated farms. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Don't know what this is, but we're taking it. That was uh, a spawner. That's fine. I hear them coming for me. They're little slappy feet. But it's fine, because we're going down a block again. We ain't staying on this floor. We're going down. I can hear them taking full damage and everything. Oh, they're down here. Hello. Was it only you? Maybe. Oh, lovely. Another netherite. Okay, keep searching. Not that we're searching for anything in particular, just chests, but still. Uh, furnaces. Furni. Uh, ooh! A special one. Does it sound like breathing? It does sound like something's breathing. Nothing's under here, right? No. That's fine. I think we're done. I think we should probably put down our next... Uh, oh, hello. Ow. Okay. Put down this real quick. Where's all of this stuff in here? Just so we're not uh, wasting inventory. And we're on the move. We're boogieing. We're boogieing. Uh, we're going to go up one more, I think. Yeah, okay. So we came from that direction. We go this direction. We are not doing well on Elixir, though. So it's either loot, ores, or mobs. I'm not, I haven't killed that many things right now. So it could be mobs. Um, could be ore as well, which, again, <laughs> with the way that we're going, I wouldn't mind ore either. Um, oh, mark the way in, mark the way in. Remember. Remember to mark. That's fine. Let's have a little run round then. This doesn't look like the easiest room to make our way round, but we'll do our best. Oh my god, I just heard all of those spawn. Child, die. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting a lot of elixir from killing. But that's hard to kind of gauge. Uh, okay. Oh, poison, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. Uh, let's eat. Poison has killed us before. There we go. We want that carbon. Carbonara. Baby, give me that carbonara. You know what we should do? We should actually just try and find a... Uh, a bailout point and then continue to fill up our elixir because that's the thing that kind of it didn't kill us last time we died to mobs last time <laughs> but uh, not knowing where an exit was was not helpful um, mark our way at least because remember obviously if we can't it would still be good to just leave um, Not that I think they're going to be like in the middle, but 
you never know. It's a, it's a solid bet that they could be, like, in the dead center of the room. Uh, I have seen them a couple times on videos and stuff, just kind of chilling out in the middle. Um... It's not looking good though, and the thing is we need to also multitask it by completing the rooms a little bit, but if we're running through like this, it's not the worst. That's not how we do this. Let's not confuse ourselves. Uh, yeah, and I don't know how rare they are in comparison to monoliths. I do prefer a monolith room, but I, I'm probably also thinking that because they're easier. Okay, that's an out. That is what an out looks like, this thing. Yeah, okay, so let's let's chill in this room then for a bit, see what we can get done. See if we can finish our thing in here. Ooh. Right, let's get going. Speed is key. Right, we need to find everything here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, little little coin pile area, pointless to us. What's this? Monster souls. Okay, we can do that. Come over here. This this we sacrifice. We have to kill things when they're sparkling red. Okay, which is fine anyway, because we need kills. Uh, that's fine. We need to drag more monsters over. From over here? Oh, and that's a little dig site. Yeah, three of you. Come on. Come over. It was five, right? Yeah, five. So once they get tagged... One more to do. Come on over, my friend. Come on. Yes. Little bit closer, my friend. I'll kill you and sacrifice you to the gods. To the gods! Yes. Grab the little gem. Perfect. Let's come over here and do a bit of digging real quick. Uh, break this, break this, break this, break this. We didn't do it in time. Break, 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 break. Cool. Ooh, some Benny. Cool, let's drop some stuff. Give me that. You know what I want. There we go. Might be worth putting our chest down, chucking a load of stuff away, and then picking it back up. Cool. Um, we've not done as well as I thought we could down here. Uh, but we have done everything down here. So we need to try, we've got 13 minutes to fill the rest of our bar up, which should be doable. I can't see that being a majorly hard hard, but we just have to be a little bit careful. Come on, spawn. We're not going to grind a spawner, that's a waste of our time. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. Really? Is that all that's up here? Is there nothing else in this room? Okay, let's go down then. And let's go one across over here. Because we at least know roughly where we are. Oh my god, that was slimy. I didn't even have time to take that in as gooey ooey. Oh, I didn't like saying that at all. Oh, this is a special room. But it's actually not going to help us, I don't think. Because this is not do. It's just like... Yeah, it's just blocks. We don't need that. Um, so let's go back. There could be some good blocks in there, but I don't think most of it. I think most of it's pretty useless to us right now. Um, and we're only halfway and with more than halfway through this. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. Uh, break, break, break. God, I got confused there. Uh, 
Oh, we're getting a bit of lag because it's backing up. Okay, I think we're good again. Right, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Come on. I'm not too sure what's giving us like the most elixir right now. Um, oh, there's another exit in here actually. See, look, like they're abundant in some areas. We just probably picked some poor rooms for it when we did the last vault. Come on, I need things to do. Break, 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 break. Yeah, I think killing is definitely doing it for us. Killing, okay, that's fine. Oh, we're lagging a bit. Oh, I didn't realise the spawner was still there. Oh. Thought this one fizzled out. Die. Dead. Cool. Coolio. Oh, okay. Let's go down then. Uh, regen. I don't think there's anything else left in this room, really. Is there? Okay, let's go across one. Still got nine minutes, and I mean, you see the killing has really brought our our elixir up. We were supposed to get knowledge essence. Uh, we've got one so far. Ten, I think, we need to get from a vault um, for our bounty. Which is not good, because we're not achieving that right now. Let's do a quick um, smart maneuver. Just dump everything again. Grab that. Chuck that back there, and we're off. Ah, oh, this room definitely looks like we're gonna finish in it. Oh, come on, the baby's the worst. So in a oh my god, in elixir rooms, um, it, when if you if you run this in multiplayer, when you finish your elixir, you start helping someone else do theirs, which is quite a, a neat way to do this. Rather than just you operating solo, you kind of all help each other in the end. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's quite a nice way to, to kind of do it, so that like if somebody's finished, they're not just immediately kind of like, well, bailing on you in the vault, in a sense. We've opened a lot of chests. Leave the chicken. The chicken can survive. It's fine. Oh, Christ. I didn't see this. I can hear one behind me. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get out of here. Trying to slap me around. Ow! Stop, okay? We agreed everyone would just calm down for a second. Did the spawn disappear? I think it did. Oh, come on! Come on! Yes, yeah, flee. Okay, cool. Oh, so find lodestone. Perfect. So we've actually finished the vault now. And I think we know roughly where the way out is. So that's good. And we've got seven more minutes of looting. Uh, which is nice. I think there was actually one in this room, if I was correct. Uh, or it's the room behind us. Either way, it's fine. Yeah, it's just over that way. Uh, let's go up here. Because again, I'm not sure how much knowledge we've collected yet. But... The more, the better, because I do want to finish the um, the challenge as well. Nope, nothing. But we are getting a lot of carbon, which is nice. Uh, and I don't think we've necessarily prioritised picking it up before now, um, just because of 
not thinking it was that worth it, but actually it's uh, it's extremely worth it, and we need all of it. But I think these chests should probably do us for knowledge, which is good. Yeah, there we go. Knowledge done. Oh, beaut. That's a really good chest, actually. Um, we need to try and put some of this away. If we can, there we go. That's actually cleared our inventory up loads. Um, because that's got some good stuff in it. Uh, that has got some mediocre stuff in. That's got some good stuff in. What is this sacrifice table? Okay. Um, terrifying. Some sort of cult. Uh, well, actually, if we've finished out... Christ, they just fell out of nowhere. We've got regen, so we can just be a bit more useless at hitting things. There we go. Break this. Oh, I feel so relaxed. Not relaxed. Damn it. You guys weren't supposed to spawn. We were supposed to finish breaking this, and then I was supposed to just casually shrug you off. Uh, wooden chest scroll. Not sure what those scrolls do. I should probably try and read into that. Uh, we are just... Oh, I don't think we have any inventory space left, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to run to where we think the exit is. Um... I think Vault looks really good. Oh my god, it is really good. Uh, what a waste <laughs> of just eating it then. Um, so I believe... Lodestone here, yeah, perfect. So we can just come in here, and I'm pretty sure... Just hit it. Vault complete. Look at that. And it just gives you 12 seconds to run around. But that is... Aww. That is, um, that is uh, elixir vaults, basically. You fill up the bar with however, whatever you need to do, and then you complete it. Finding a lodestone, though, is the hard part. So, let's have a look. We opened 74 chests. We had so many ornate chests. A couple living, a lot of wooden. Didn't do that much killing. Damage taken was quite a lot, though. Yeah, without that heal, we'd be uh, we'd be in a different place altogether in life. Um, so let's try and do our usual thing, where I open a chest, uh, lock, and then filtered insert just everything. And that is the the quickest way to just blitz through this, really, isn't it? I didn't get rid of as much, did it? Uh, Leomar, at least. Um, ooh, uh, that is goodies right there. I was going to say this one isn't empty, is it? Let's see if we can again just insert some of these things. Put that into there. Uh, just gonna keep grabbing. Ooh, um, that into there. Lovely. We've got six of those again, which is good. Insert, insert, insert. We can take this over to here. For now, uh, try and clear through the last bits of this. I think we can at least put that in there. Lots of knowledge essence, actually. Um, knowledge. Knowledge goes in here. We might have enough to make another knowledge uh, store. Uh, right, grab those bits, 
Oh my god, so much stuff. Um, we can put these away. Uh, insert, insert, insert. Nothing. Do we have anything that is innately vaulty? Vaulty. Vault stone. Uh, vault. Peniotite. Insert, insert. This is probably the most tiresome part of this mod pack. Is just, but it's the tiresome part of most mod packs. You get so much stuff. Oh, I just realised I was going to change my T-shirt, and I've completely forgotten to because it's my work T-shirt. Uh, I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, just can't be giving this, give this sort of advertisement away for free, you know? Ugh. I'm getting this all for free. I was just too keen to, to get home and jump on and play, to be fair. So that is my bad. Um, I've been keeping these in here for now. It's my first uh, Idona blessing, though. Oh, actually, uh, I think we're keeping this over here for a second. Because we're saving up, obviously. Um, is this just a bottle of water? It is, okay. And I think that's probably about it in terms of everything being unpacked. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Upper chest, put that in there, that in there. These are bookcases which we do want for over here. Just to kind of finish that off. Um, put you down in here for now, the rest of you. And actually, we'll put the rest of you in there as well. What is that? Water. Oh, okay. Kind of useless. Um, let's just chuck the last bits away. Oh, we're running out of room. And our ores chest is very big because I've been doing some stuff as well. I've been a busy boy. Um, it's just kind of Spring launcher. Oh. Uh, I think that is everything. Let's stop this now. Take this, put this away, and then we'll go and claim our chest as well. Uh, from the bounty table. Claim. So now we've got bounty loot plus elixir loot. Oh my god, look at all this gear we've got to roll. Almost a full hotbar's worth of gear. So, oh, let's roll the gear. See if we get anything amazing. Is this just straight a magnet? Oh my god, we've got a magnet. I was going to look into this today, how to get a magnet. Just a, yeah. Okay, and that goes on our belt. Okay, so now I think if we, yeah, yeah, it just chucks things into our inventory. Perfect. Couldn't be happier with that, actually. That's probably the best thing we could have gotten. Um, okay, uh, let's do our usual thing. So first off, we have the helmet. Uh, shift to compare. Uh, it's not great. Uh, we've got the chest piece. Uh, it's not great. We've got the pants. It's okay, actually. I think, although I like the item rarity, that I don't think is any better than our shield currently. Oh, and our shield could take a take a suffix as well. Um, yeah, I actually think none of this is that great. Um, so I don't think we're going to equip any of that. We are, on the other hand, going to come over to here, chuck our shield in, and bang on something else for it. No, soulbound. Ugh. Okay, well, I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, we've also got these. That's a horrible one. Horrible. Even worse. 
Horrible. Horrible. And horrible. Perfect. Glad we got all of this loot. Uh, we can open the booster packs. Nothing. Mystery box. Some Leomar. Not bad. Uh, we've got a lot of Leomar, but can he complain? Uh, into here, we'll chuck our coins. Uh, and then the rest of this can just chill out in here, I guess. Um, we've got a chest for the, the garbage stuff over here. Uh, these are always useful to have, but I mostly use them for repairing stuff. Uh, let's now grab our... Let's grab this and let's grab this for a second. We'll equip that, put that on our hotbar, just so we can get some cheeky little mens out of it. And that is more Beniatite and more Leomar. Perfect. We can put this away for a second. Where are we at with the knowledge again? So let's have a quick look. I think we can make another. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look-see. Because we need eight of these to make, well, we need the Extraordinary Benny type first, which is one, two, three, four, into one, into this, into this, yes. Hey, our second knowledge. I don't think we have anything we want to spend it on right now though. Um, because we want this which is two, um, and that will make our life so much easier. Um, there's nothing else really that is worth it. Uh, the only thing I would consider is tortures, but again, that's two. Waystones, pointless. Yeah, I think we're waiting realistically. Unfortunately, because it's very expansive. Um, I think we got some burger parts though, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we can ding though. Let's just have a quick look for any other burgy parts. No, but we can at least do this and get four burgers and maybe, no, we need a lot more burgers, Christ. Um, but that's fine. Let's chuck these bits in here for now. Uh, and that is our vault. Oh, almost done. We've got a jar of cookies, which I'll just, you know, I'll just chuck over here for these guys to, to look at and admire. Cookie. Ah, oh, cute. Um, they're so loud, already regretting placing them down again. Um, simple villagers, I think, is a mod here, and I think you just put them in a little random block and they're quiet, but for now, we leave them to it. I just put them in the walls for now so it was less... Because we, need, we needed to use them for certain bits and everything, so it's easier just to have access to them. Um, but going over here is now a nightmare. Um, come back over here. We'll keep this, put this away. Um, keep that, put that away. So, let me show you what I've been up to and why we've got so many ores. Because I came down here because I wanted to get us closer to the um, zombie spawner. I thought it would be good to maybe have access to that and I've been just digging it out. Um, kind of lighting up around here a little bit but just digging this out. Um, it's a 4x4 four four basically in all directions but I dug 5 to replace the walls. But below this if we If we just dig over here quickly, yeah, see? I knew I'd break into it if I went around here. Is this? Um, which, to get into it, is going to be a little bit tricky. But we can now farm Amethyst just below our spawner, which is quite nice. Because we can wait down here and do all of our digging needs and then go back upstairs and um, grab things. I was wondering if fortune worked on these, because I get one normally, um, and that's actually a cluster, which is not what I want. I want the 
plain amethyst, don't I? Because what I want to do is that front area I'd like to cover with um, dark glass. You know, where you kind of like, you can see through it. I think it looks quite nice. So let's have a look quickly uh, at our fortune pick and see how it does on those bits. And then I realized while I was down there, I have another thing that we can do this episode, which will be a little bit of a crazy thing, but we need levels probably to do it. Um, which we just got actually. Um, where did I put those bottles of enchanting? Here. Right. If I don't hold this for a second. So what level do we get to? Because I'd like a level 30 enchantment on a bow. Close. We could probably work with that. Um, but for now, I want our Fortune 3 pick. And I want to have a go at doing some mining of the, the amethyst to see if we get lots of it. Because if we can get lots of it, this glass project's going to be really easy. If we get very small amounts, I'm going to be a bit annoyed. Because it's just going to take ages to do. Um, Spitter. Oh, one thing that does annoy me actually is vault swords don't have any impact on um, cobwebs like normal swords do, which is why I've kind of left a lot of the, the vaults, uh, the lot pickaxes. How many is that? Four. Yes, yeah, so that's I think one piece of glass because it's four to two. Okay, so actually this might be very doable, especially if I'm just like. AFKing down here, digging. I do love the sound of it. It's very pretty. Let's just see where this gets us to for a second. Actually, that's quite nice because you only need one piece of glass for two. Yeah, I mean, this is literally just being down here for a second. If we can get... Oh, I think that was a budding block. Maybe, I don't know. Um, we want to avoid breaking these because otherwise we won't get any more. Um, we also could have brought torches down with us, which might have been a better idea. Um, yeah, I mean, almost, almost four stacks just from this, like, tiny little bit of digging. And they'll grow back. Just takes time. So let's actually do that. Let's break this last one. And then we will leave down here to its own devices and allow them to grow back, um, which is very cool actually. So let's go back up then, because we need to go up to, to get ready for the next thing. And I think we've got some ores up there that we can break down possibly for more experience, which would be fine. Uh, we could do with melting some sand as well, which would get us some experience for that glass. Most of my experience comes from um, killing, uh, killing blazes right now. I've uh, I've just been killing blazes. Like, if you look, we've got lots of lots of blaze drops. Um, okay, so actually, we've basically got a stack there. Let's chuck this in here for now, so we can break this for experience. This for experience. Two diamonds we found. This for experience. Uh, the rest of it can be broken but needs to be smelted. So let's at least do the experience ones first. I've just realized I've just put back the fortune pick, which is what we're going to use on all of this anyway. Um, so let's once again go over here, grab the fortune pick, put all of this down, two diamonds, a lot of redstone, surprisingly. This doesn't have mending on it, no, it doesn't. I was like, maybe we're about to lose experience, but we are all good. So then we've got fortune equipped. We just dig through this. 25. Oh, yeah, I mean, we still doubled our diamonds, which is still good, actually, out of the output of that. Uh, we don't have any room for this stuff anymore, though. We are running surprisingly low. 
Uh, I did start smelting some stuff in the background, though. Still not enough. Uh, we need to blockify this copper, I think. Let's just balance that grid real quick. And at least now we've got more room in here because the copper is taking up a lot of space. Um, we could also make those into blocks. That into blocks as well. Just to kind of sort ourselves out a little bit. Uh, do that. Balance grid, nice. Bam, 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 bam. We're getting there. We block this maybe as well because, ugh. Balance, there we go. I think now, oh, I was like, we we're doing great, actually. I've been putting things in the wrong chest. Um, we can also take this out, I think, and put this in here. Uh, that looks good to me. Tools wise, right, so we need a bow and we need arrows. And then I want to have a look at enchanting this. What would we get? We just want power, right? Infinity would be nice, maybe? But that does need level 30. So what we could do is. Da -da 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 -da, if we grab this real quick, we grab this real quick. Because I don't want to waste what we're doing here. But. I'm breaking, fortune, mending, silk touch, efficiency, looting. Okay, so this guy at the far end, that's fine. Um, we could, oh, we could trade as well, which would probably get us pretty close to where we want to be. Because um, we can trade stone to the stone guy. Let's trade some stone. And if not, I have a backup plan. Uh, stone guy. You love stone, boy. Give us all of the experience. You're not giving us as much as I want, stone guy. Okay, backup plan it is then. Uh, backup plan requires some experience. Oh, wait, like we need a book. We need a book. Book, 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 book. Because I'm going to equip looting onto this sword and then kill some animals. Because we have plenty. Uh, 28. How much is this going to take to do? Six. Ugh. But we have plenty of animals to kill. Um, we've got Giga Chicken, who is 803. Uh, maybe we bring Giga Chicken down a, a couple notches. We can't kill Giga Chicken. What? Oh, there you go. How many chickens do we have to kill for eight levels? <laughs> Too many, I think. We're shrinking Giga Chicken down at a rapid rate. Uh, that's almost a hundred. I don't want to kill that many more. Maybe take it down another 10? One more. Okay, so we're actually down experience doing that entire thing. Um, it's not really benefited us. Let's, but what we can do is, one, we got so many drops from that alone. Um, it'll be good for us because we always need the food. Uh, Two, let's then also, what am I doing? What, what's my plan here? Uh, smelt some chicken, sure. Um, <laughs> right. Cook chicken for experience. Uh, we can also, we could break down some of this for experience, but we can also sell things as well for experience. Like if we do a stack of paper, for example, we sell this. Let's go over to the boys. I need experience, boys. Please. Bless me with many a levels. So that's 25 again. Right. Um, you only buy... Oh, you buy feathers for... 24 feathers apiece. 
we actually have plenty of feathers now. Um, so we'll start using feathers. I don't know if the experience is weighted, like a difficult trade like feathers gets you more experience or not. It doesn't look to be. If I'm perfectly honest, it looks to be doing us just as poorly. But there goes a lot of feathers. Um, but not a lot of experience. Bear that in mind. Let's sleep. Maybe in the morning we can retrade some stone. I don't know. I want 30 levels though. Stone man. What do you buy? Ugh. What do you buy? Ugh. All of you buying ridiculous things. Uh, we could sell some melons and pumpkins probably, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of... Oh, that's carrot crates. I thought that was pumpkin crates, if I'm honest. Let's do this. Let's get our... Silk Touch Axe. Put this away. And let's harvest some melons and pumpkins to sell. We've of course gone up to the literally one place that we don't have them planted. Um, that's fine. Oh, well, that's bound to happen. Lovely. Honestly, melons, it doesn't make sense how bad the conversion is without Silk Touch. Like, you get like three, maybe block, like wedges of melon per, when actually a whole melon costs nine to make. Like, it's a, it's a dumb conversion. Beautiful. Whizzing through. Look at all of this. Honestly, the farming situation here, ten times better than what we had. The amount of stuff we get uh, when we need it is actually really good. Previously we were getting like minor amounts of stuff and kind of waiting a lot and the farms are a bit inefficient. Now we whiz through, like look at this. It's taken us seconds to harvest and we've got probably about a stack of each. End of the day. Did we not plant one here? Okay well that's something we'll have to look into but for now Let's just whiz back down. So you'll notice I didn't put the farmy boys over here. They're actually in their own little place. Um, gave me no experience. Am I? Okay. Okay, yeah, we did get some experience actually. Um, stone boy. Stone boy. Uh, break down some more stone for you. Oh, selling it for 19. You're doing me good. No. He did me so good until I mentioned it. I told him, oh, this is a great trade. And he went, actually, this seems too good to be true. Okay, well, let's get our last levels from the nether then. Um, chuck all of this away for a second. Uh we could do with putting this sword over here actually because again also i can't kill the oh i can kill these with this oh well that's blown my mind a little bit previously that hasn't worked for me um but that's fine just randomly worked i was expecting to be a, like oh, look at me i know how this pack works and it doesn't work uh instead i was wrong uh, i admit failure on my part. Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Let's go to the nether real quick and we will kill some uh, some blazers and maybe some wither boys if we see any looking good. But, oh, hello. Ow. Oh god, you guys, you guys are really going to do me like this. Um, Man, They're outside my door, causing havoc. Damn it! Damn it! Don't, don't do me like this. Just jumped me. 
outside here for no reason. I've put the roof on over here now to make this a little bit more of a fighting pit. As long as I can keep up with killing them, it's not too bad. The moment they start to um, spawn more than I can kill, it gets a little dangerous in here. Because <laughs> they just start batting me around. Let's... Come on. Give me some more, boys. Pop, pop, pop. If we do all of this and we get like a really just just uh, if in infinity, I'll be pretty mad. But with the jump, with the crits, we kill instantly with this sword. So we keep up fairly well. Come on, give me more. We need two more levels. Which, to be fair, we wouldn't need had we not done the sword strat, but I thought the chickens would give us more experience. Um, but I think it, it's better at lower level then, than now. Ugh, honestly. Wasting my time. Any wither boys out here? No. Jumped him. Getting, like, no experience. They've spawned again. Yeah, they have. See, it gets bad. It gets bad the moment they they have a second to hit me. It gets a little bit spicy. Okay, come on. Give me killables. I'd like to kill a wither skeleton, if I'm honest, and get one more skull. There's a couple boys over here. A couple withery boys. Oh my god. He's so high. There we go. Oh, no. Oh my god. Went horribly wrong. Okay, there's another couple withery boys over here. Ow. could do with not getting poisoned every single time. I'm not too bad at it, I just need to... There we go. Drop backwards and jump. Um, one more level needed. There were two withery boys over here. Ooh. I don't really want to activate the spawner, so if you guys can, yeah, one at a time just... Come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Please. For the love of God. I think I saw another withery boy somewhere. Didn't I? Like over here? Or is he despawned? I think he despawned. It's a good way of getting bones though. I have been running out here to get bones every so often because we need it for crops and stuff. And we also do need it for um, some altars to get our gems. So it's not a bad place to just kind of come and chill, really. The piglings, what, piglings? Piglins cause us a little bit of trouble. But other than them, it's not the worst in here. The withers are kind of like, ugh, wither skeletons are a bit here nor there. Yeah, look, he's going to come down. And they do a lot of damage, actually, so keeping them a little bit further back is good. Is good. Very good. Very nice. Let's see up here. Come on, guys. I think one of you owes me a head at this point. No? Not a single one of you. With looting three as well, they don't, I thought they'd come a little bit more commonly. But maybe they're just mad uncommon otherwise. Because again, don't really do this. I thought that was a gasp for a second. Uh, don't get to this part of the game often by in single player. Just because, like, especially unmodded, I just get a bit, I get a bit lazy, and then I lose focus on maybe the tasks that I want to do, and then all of that comes together to mean I, I don't really make progress. And I end worlds before I get to like later game. 
Which is sad. I should probably keep them around a bit longer, but I'm a I'm a different breed. I'm built different. Um, and by that I'm built wrong. So many piggly boys. Piggly wigglies. Any any wither boys? Oh, wither boys? Nope. Let's go back through. Because I don't like being on this side as much as I like being over here. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Ooh, big old magma cream. We'll kill that. Magma cream? Magma slime? Come on, jump over this way a little bit so you're not completely over the edge. There you go. Well, there goes one of you. Hmm. Why is it so dead? What difficulty are we playing on? Does it say? It doesn't say. Oh wait, maybe an options? Game difficulty, normal. Just no boys around. Not a single soul. I've cleared the nether. For good. They're just... Oh, there you go. There's one. Come here. Come on, buddy. You know you want to try and kill me. Yeah, onto the ground, though. Onto the... Yeah, there you go. Damn you. For not having the good stuff. We've got 30 levels, though. Which is what we came in here for. Oh my... What did a pig just... Plummet to its death? Okay, he did. We take the wrong turning every time I'm in here. Did he actually die? Yeah, dead dead for sure. Alright, well, let's leave. Let's enchant our bow, see what we get on it, and then we're gonna go and do some fun stuff. Um, so... We need a little bit of... I think we've got some in here, right? Yeah, we do. This plus this. Oh, Infinity Unbreaking is all we got. That's harsh. Um, how much is a strength potion in this pack? Step one. Oh, wait. Uh, just regular strength. Two steps. Yeah, I understand that. What's, what are the two steps though? Three, step three, step three, step two. Right, step one, oh I see. Is it just saying you just take awkward potions and put, okay, let's try that for a second because a strength potion might help us with doing this because we got another two while I was away doing some little bits in the background and as I said I do pop in there for a lot of how many do we need one two three four yeah four um I do pop in there for experience and I killed I actually killed two and got I must have killed three off camera and got three which was really good actually um so I was hoping we could kill that but now I'm a bit annoyed because um we don't have bloody, we don't have a good bow. And you need to bow him to start with. Let's do this. Uh, we need an awkward potion to start with. Where's the nether wart then? Oh God, this is where this system falls apart, isn't it? Oh no. Okay. Right, where is this nether wart? We definitely have some. Have I missed it like more than once? There it is, yeah, I have missed it more than once. Okay. So we can come over to this guy's thing. I don't see why we couldn't use his. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. 
put this in here. If this is a way to get strength potion, we might we might run strength potions more often. Um, oh. And we'll um we'll make it strength two, which I think. So it's awkward potion now. Yeah, it just looks to be this simple, I think. Hey, my guy. If this makes strength potions, well, we need one redstone then um, to make it better, right? Uh, strength two, or oh, glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. Mm, put that back. We need a glowstone. Which I th oh, where have we put our bloody glowstone now? Oh no, here we go again. Back to the, the opening chest loop. There it is, okay. Uh, so we come over here, and if we... Yeah, strength. Make it strength two. And then we'll go and dig a little tunnel, and we'll fight the wither, I guess. Sure this will go well. We're going to do the tunnel strat, though, where we kind of dig like a really long uh, two by one um, and cheese him a little bit. Okay, so let's go, in that case, down to our mine somewhere where it's mildly away from our base. And let's try and kill this boy. Um, okay. Got the heads on us, got that on us. Yeah, I, I don't know if I feel good or bad about this. We're gonna find out very soon though. How horribly wrong this will go. Um, it needs to be a place with like solid wall. So, and a lot of this isn't solid wall, which is not great. Maybe we go further up the mine then, to where it's a bit more wally and less big tunnel hole. Let's do that instead. Let's maybe go up to here. I don't know. This is what we're doing now, though. Uh, we're going to run, of course we hit a goddamn hole in this place. Can't see a thing. <sighs> right, this isn't the way to go then. What about going this way? With our sword, we might be able to do it quick enough. We just It's the bow phase that I'm worried about. Because I have to bow him down enough to be able to use the sword on him, I'm pretty sure. This looks better. This is promising. Okay. How far away are we? Yeah, I reckon this is fine. Dig this out. Okay, and then we do a uh, this. Is that actually counted as planted on? We can do it on the front here, can't we? Hello. Does it need to be... Oh, it does. Okay. I don't know if he's stronger in this pack or not. We're about to find out. Can I get his little... <coughs> Where's he going? <coughs> Oh, okay. Well, let's, 
let's chug one of these because we made it. He only hit us once. He only hit us once. Howie. Okay. That wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Weirdly. Um, we did a lot better than I thought. Uh, which is good. We can dig out all of these ores now while we're still here. Okay, um, I thought we had to bow him a little bit. Turns out we can just slap him around with our sword. And as we get better swords, that's going to just get easier and easier. So, pretty goddamn happy. We have killed a wither and got a star. Uses for this star. It is only used for um, the beacon, which is good. I wondered if it was going to be useful for other things or not. So that is fine. Cool. Wither killed. And it took no time at all. And he barely hit us. So, all positives. I was like, why have we got drops? Um, it's because he detonated some of the drops. Um, that's fine. Chuck that all away. Um, do we have the ability? We don't have the ability to make um, make one yet. But if we quickly... Right, let's do this. Let's get some s dirty sand. Smooth sandstone. I just want regular sand. There we go. Let's do this, shall we? Let's get a load of... Oh, well, we've got a load on us already. Take that out. Uh, let's chuck you in with eight. That's fine. Chuck you in with some as well. Get that smelting. If we did... Oh, we need a bucket first. If we get a bucket... I don't think there was any on the surfaces. Can I... Oh, I should be doing this, shouldn't I? Wait. Am I chunk loading these? Wait. Waypoints, unset. I thought I could... Can I chunk load? Load new chunks on... I'm realizing I haven't chunk loaded anything. Um, I don't know if we can chunk load. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's go and see if we can get some obsidian. Um, I haven't seen any down here. That doesn't mean there isn't any. And with our vein mining now, it'll be a bit quicker than the last time we did it. Um, come all the way down. This real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, these don't work as normal swords. Oh, but I do have a sword on me. Oh, just a stone sword makes this 10 out of 10 great. Um, okay, we need to find some lava. Lava. Oh my god, this is such a big cave. Um, oh my god, the bloody creeper party. Crikey. Oh, of course you were a little bittery disgusting boy uh, no lava pools around here like really you have to be kidding me this was our old route I'm pretty sure um, just trying to look for see if there's diamonds while we're up here oh man come on really so many bloody creepers. There's some lava. It's a little annoying that it's down there because we don't really have an easy way up or down. Except the vines, maybe. 
We'd still have to cross, but better than nothing. I'm coming down. Yeah, this is our old place, isn't it? So we need to go back up here. If we can remember this. Um, let's come over here then. Do some obsidian mining real quick. We've got netherite pick now as well. We should be a bit better off. Um, oh my god. That's technically all we need. Um, but we will grab some more if we can. Wow, that actually went really quick with the pick that we've got now. Efficiency 5 though. Oh no! Okay, because it all fell into this water hole, yes, that I created. Dig. Okay, that's the most we can get from there, I think. Lovely. You want to get me so bad, do you? Dead. Yeah, that's right. Nobody messes with me. Cool. Oh man, do you remember when we were down here a long time ago and just dying constantly? How life has changed. We're now the kings of this world. I'm the king of the swingers, babe. Jungle VIP. I was to the top with my great fire, and that's where you and me. So we need to climb up this, I believe. Or this one, to be precise. And then we go across. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're up here. We have to go across to there. Uh, is there an easy way to do it? No. Probably not. Is this the safe way? Definitely not. Almost. Touchy tippy. Touchy tippy. Touchy tippy. Lovely. I, I, I need to stop saying that. I don't even know what that is. But it doesn't sound good. <laughs> If I'm honest with myself, it sounds a little bit suspect. I can, if I can get the skeleton to finish these creepers off, I'll get records, won't I? Come on. Oh, you need to die. You need to leave. This isn't worth it. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. We could have died. And I'd like to keep our levels. We're, we're doing okay on levels. And to lose them would be very sad. Um, so we're basically, the nice way is, now that we've got the zombie spawner marked, it's kind of what I always just head for. Is if I head towards the zombie spawner, I know that I'm at my exit. Your kind needs to be severed from this world. Uh, oh, it is through that hole anyway. <laughs> I think through here. Little, little tour. And then jump, yumping, and we're here. Perfect. Um, so we're going back up now, because we should have everything we need to make a beacon. Still unsure on where I want to put it. I'm thinking above the gardens. I think that's the best place for it. Um, so, let's grab some glass. Let's put this away first. And this, 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 this. Okay, glass. And now we can make a beacon. Beacon. And now if we get ourselves a lot of iron, this is the only thing that's a little bit annoying. We won't have enough to do um, the full beacon yet. 
But I think, oh no, I think I need nine blocks for the initial base. Because it's a three by three base. Um, let's take one more iron with us. Let's then go up here. Actually, wait. What I want to do is I want to do one of these into one of these into this. Because blue is my favorite color. Um, and we're going to go up here for now. Navigate our way through. And if we're going to put it anywhere, it's going to be underneath this. So let's break that shroom light for a second. Let's then do this, do this. So that's where it's going to go. So we do this. Wait. No, we need to go down one more. Because if we want to stain it blue, uh, so we're going to do speed or haste. So let's take speed while it's at level one. What's this reach? Oh. Um, then let's do that, and then do that. And now we've got a little bit of speed when going around the base. Hey, and I th think it should reach seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, okay, so it's just Ooh, it's quite close actually. Well, it's a nice indicator and it's a bit of a flex, isn't it? I'd like to get another one there, there, and there, but that's going to require a lot more wither skulls. Um, but now we know it's doable. That's quite nice. Um, but yeah, look, we've got... We can... I wonder if maybe... Wait. We don't have it equipped. Uh, I want to see how it does with our elytra and our dash whether we can maybe get a little bit of a, a better launch in this corner now maybe maybe that's a little bit better yeah feels a little better Ooh, definitely messes with our FOV though sweep Get some slip. Okay, so beacon done, vault done. Um, what's our next bounty? Uh, kill husks or mine 19 Lamar, which will get us 12 chromatic steel, which is. what we need to make the dark steel actually so that's pretty good for us plus some boots but yeah that's our next one 19 is quite a lot but you can't really knock it uh, nothing good in the shop and i don't think we have 350 yet no barely barely scraping that at all um perfect okay well, I think... Oh, I've just realised my bed's messy in the background as well. What a nightmare. I'm just trying to make sure I get this recorded so I, I don't fall behind. And I've, 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 given, I've given my work free promo. I've given the, the bed no, no look. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. We've achieved things today. Uh, Elixir Vault, done. Uh, beacon, done. Uh, oh, and actually, we are still getting affected from it down here in the center of our base. Yeah, so that's quite nice. Um, so Elixir Vault, Beacon, uh, knowledge, knowledge Point. You can't see it because it's here, right where I am. Um, 
just with it killed, which was part of the beacon. We've done lots. We've done very good. So I hope you enjoy this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. I think in the next one we maybe want to do some, as I said, automated farms. Maybe look at making that spawner work. Uh, and a couple other little things. But um, we'll still try and run a vault. It's hard to run a vault and do these things, but we're going to make it work. Uh, maybe some of it has to be done more off camera. Maybe I should start streaming. If you want to see me maybe do some off camera stuff just without it being an episode, let me know. Uh, and we'll go from there. So thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.